One of the best things about the Adobe Creative Suite is the compatibility between applications. And now we can introduce to you a direct workflow between Adobe Animate CC and After Effects. So here in this Adobe Animate CC document, I have a very short four to five second long animation. It was all hand drawn with the paintbrush tool using a video track as reference, otherwise known as rotoscoping. But I want to give this animation a little bit more of a hand drawn feel or apply some sort of effect to it or different effects. Effects that go beyond a vector based animation program. So the dancer is on her own layer and the other three layers are just some additional effects that I have added in. And with my animate document saved, I'm now going to switch over to After Effects. And so now I'm in After Effects and with the new After Effects project, I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to select my Animate CC Dancer document. So for import preferences, you can choose the same folder or a different folder. And if there's audio present in your Animate document, you can check this box. I will not since I do not have any audio with my animation. And then click OK. And so now you'll notice in After Effects in your project window, we now have a folder called Dancer. If we expand that, you'll see that each of these layers has been converted to a Swift file. And now we have a new composition created called Dancer. And if we double click it, we can play the timeline to see our animation take place. And now our After Effects timeline is set up exactly as our Animate CC document. All the layers are there intact, and we can play our timeline to see the animation play. I'm going to import a background that I created using Photoshop. I'm going to place that on a layer behind my dancer. And now since I have the freedom of these assets all on different layers, I can apply various effects to them. So at this point, you're only limited by your own imagination. You can add various effects and styles and generate any kind of effect you want because after all, this is After Effects. So I just wanted to show you the ease and convenience of an Adobe Animate CC to After Effects workflow. So here I'm using effects in After Effects to give my animation or my brush strokes that I created originally in Animate CC more of a real media feel. This was a quick and relatively simple example, but it shows the limitless possibilities of the workflow we now have between Adobe Animate CC and After Effects.